Let me first ask you um, what kind of recovery you're starting to see. I mean, as uh, as we get supply chains back online in Asia, are you seeing the flow of goods come back at a decent pace? Yes, uh, we, we, we do see it. Uh, it it's, it's always, uh, uh, it, it, it takes some, some, uh, some weeks uh, with respect to, uh, to the trains, but we, uh, we, we saw a, a significant increase in the beginning of this month, and uh, uh, we see uh, uh, a, a, a big increase for the whole uh, period in, in April and May, uh, because all the all the the, uh, the 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 cargo which which couldn't be shipped uh, by uh, by the deep sea carriers in uh, in the in the year uh, in the month of crisis especially in, in February, uh, have, have now to be shipped um, uh, by, by, uh, by the DC carriers as well and by the trains because it's, it's a shorter distance and it's a shorter lead time. So I'm, I'm quite optimistic that uh, this month uh, will, will be good as far as the cargo from China is concerned. Eric, yes, that's the story from China. What about the movement of those products onward through to the rest of Europe? Are there any issues in the in the onward route for you? Yeah, well, as far as uh, the, the European uh, cargo shipments are concerned, they are on a low basis for sure, especially the so-called continental cargo. Take as an example, uh, Italy, we have a strong... Uh, we, we, we have a strong percentage of, uh, of cargo handling between uh, Italy and, and, and Germany and in our, especially our region. Uh, this, uh, this is low, in, uh, same with Spain and, uh, and other countries. So overall, we, are, we, we have a strong downgrade for sure. Do you see, Eric, sh shipping routes and supply chains being reorganized for good? I mean, is this something that's going to change the way Europe does business? I guess it's too early to, to, to justify uh, some, some uh, changes or to make some forecasts in that direction. Um, uh, as far as the um, supply with, uh, with uh, specific uh, goods uh, in Europe itself uh, are concerned. It is uh, take pharmaceuticals, for instance. There will be uh, in in the f in the future. I expect more production here in Europe. Uh, it's not it's it's not going back pr uh, from a globalized world, but uh, in 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 uh, serious and specific areas. I guess uh, European production uh, will start again, and, and not not. Uh, Having all these uh, uh, facilities in uh, in China and in China and depending on that, um, as far as the uh, Asian uh, European uh, uh, trades are concerned, I do not see significant changes um, right now. It okay. is How, uh, it, Eric. It, can uh, I ask you about? Can I ask you about automation as well? I'm sorry to, to jump yeah. in. How automated yeah. are your operations at the moment and how automated could they be? Well, as far as the handling of, uh, of containers are concerned, uh, they are, they, the, the automation has uh, it's been, uh, it's been developing quite nicely. We, we are doing a lot in that direction. Um, it is difficult to. It, it, it's not a. Uh, it's not a big jump. Uh, we we are we are uh, uh, we are automating in, in, in our uh, industry step by step, uh, and this will maybe uh, have an effect uh, in, in in four or five years, but not uh, uh, not not presently. Right.